Here, kitty, kitty. Here, kitty, kitty. Aloha, YouTube. I'm motherfucking crypto exotic. Motherfucking uh, blockchain hustler. The real black Satoshi. Dreddy Nakamota. You know what I'm saying? The blockchain hustler. Also known as Crypto Roots. And I'm about to spit that crypto game. You know what I'm saying? It's a rough world out there, man. It's a for real rough world out there. And niggas need that motherfucking crypto game. So that's why I started this channel. That's why I started my profession as a software engineer, blockchain developer, you know what I'm saying? Crypto miner, crypto trader, crypto educator, consultant, motherfucking decentralized application builder, you know what I'm saying? I go hard up in the motherfucking paint and I don't stop. All right, so let's talk about selling the idea of cryptocurrency. I'm not talking about selling cryptocurrency. That's a whole different ball game, and I got you for that. Hit me up for the mentorship, and trust me, this shit, the, when I, when I deliver this game to my mentees, these mother, the, the, these people, these men and women of various ages are left speechless. They're left speechless. I'm not exaggerating. The information is so overwhelming, the possibilities of what could be that has all, you know, this shit is overwhelming. But you, you get what you pay for. And that's education on what's out there, what tools and resources are available and how to use them to, to your best interest. And that's it, that's all I can show you. You know what I'm saying? I can't tell you what to do. But I'm just going to let you know what's out there and what's available and what what possibilities and how to go about it. You know, but I'm a programmer, so I know different sides of the game that most YouTube cryptocurrency people ain't even fucking with. They only know one side of the game, but I go in the code. I write the code. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm in the code every day. Some JavaScript. I thought I was fucking with Python. I'm not dissing Python, but it's JavaScript. It's just er everything I need to do relies somewhat on Ethereum and JavaScript. So that's what I do. That's what I'm here to master Ethereum and master JavaScript and everything that goes along with that. So let's talk about selling the idea of cryptocurrency. Now, the whole point of the Crypto Roots mentorship is to turn you into a crypto consultant. Okay, you think I'm just gonna be like this is my information and if you pay for me to teach you about it Then it's only for you and me. No, no like once you learn this shit because of how valuable it is Then you can go and share it for money just as much as you pay So the whole purpose is to get the game and then learn how to uh, you know what I'm saying Sp spit the game So I've mastered spitting the game of cryptocurrency and that's what I'm here to teach you. So I'm gonna give you a little insights on how I sell the idea of cryptocurrency because this shit is so brand new. It's over so many people's heads. Some people, like, it's just overwhelming to even try to deal with it. So if you can break this game down to people who are interested, who are curious, who are looking for another monetary system to get involved in, like, you know, like, you gotta sell them the, on the idea because people have these, they're locked in to what money is but money's failing all the money they know is failing them it's failing it's failing but they don't understand what this new money is so you can make money by selling the idea of cryptocurrency and then in return you take your time and set that up you can actually sell cryptocurrency so it's all about hustling in person and hustling online cryptocurrency and the idea of it you know and that's what i do with this channel ultimately all i do is teach you enough about cryptocurrency where hopefully you can start to get involved in it where you can start to learn and participate in these markets yourself so how do you sell the idea of cryptocurrency and this is what i do in my normal life you know what i'm saying especially when i live back in the states i would hit up everybody not everybody i wasn't like this uh bitcoin christ figure like but i'd be like at a bank Bank tellers are my favorite pe people to spit the cryptocurrency game, especially the beautiful women at the bank. It's like, yo, have you heard of Bitcoin? Nah, yeah, nah, yeah. 
Well, it's, hey, check this out. So write this down. It's the new money. When, when you say that shit, it's the new money. People question what they hear when they say it. It's what, what do you mean by it's the new money? No, it's the new world money. What the f are you talking about? A new world money? Yeah, it's a new world money that the people control. Wait, what? Hold on, I ain't never heard nobody say this shit. This dude looks like he's just smoking weed and just trying to like, you know, get into my head or some shit. No, 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 no. It's called Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. It's a new world money that the people control, right? They've always wanted a world money that the, the government control. People are like, yeah, I could kind of see that happening, but it's the world money that the people control. Now people are listening. Now like, yo, this crazy dreadlock stoner Rasta black dude may be spitting some shit. Let me pay a little bit more attention. So you only got a limited amount of time when you talk to people, especially in public or even online. Things are different right now, but hey, you know, I'm spitting game. You take, you take what you can from it and see if it works for you. But I'm a master at selling the idea of cryptocurrency to strangers, you know? Everybody's got an opinion. What hit? Let, let me let me let me back. This. Everyone's affected by money, whether they have it or not. You can write that down. That's crypto rules. Put that shit in some fucking dictionary or some what? What? Everybody's affected by money, whether they have it or not. So if you have it, you have probably less of it, or it's harder to get if you don't have it. And if you have it, it's either hard to get or you. It's easier to get. Like everybody's affected by it one way or another. So everybody's gonna have an opinion on money. And everybody's going to have an opinion on the different... So, I'm already ready for what anybody's about to say. But what I'm doing is I'm, I'm, I'm letting them know that, yo, you kind of need to wake up. You kind of need to wake up because there's this new form of money that the people control. And it's actually, you know, five, six times more valuable than gold. They're like, what? Yeah, look up gold. It's 13 14 maybe $700 right now. Look at the price of Bitcoin, 6,700, 7,800 plus. So you tell them it's five, six times worth worth more than the price of gold. People paying attention now. Yo, what's this dude talking about? I don't know. I don't believe people either like, yo, teach me more. I don't believe it. People got all, but I'm prepared because I've been spitting this crypto game to strangers all day, like for years. You sell the idea of cryptocurrency. Did you know you can print your own money? What the fuck? Just, yo, this dude's a scammer, yo. This dude's trying to put me on some scam. Yo, you can actually print your own money on your own. You don't need me. People are like, okay, maybe this guy's not really scamming me. How do you print your own money? Well, it's called crypto mining. Well, what is crypto mining? Well, you can use your computer to solve math problems, and you get rewarded for it. You see how I'm breaking it, breaking it down with very, very, very simple concepts? I'm not getting into hash out consensus algorithms and uh, uh, target read difficulty and decentralized exchanges and made a mask, private keys. I'm not getting into all that. Most people, that'll go over people's head and they don't, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I understand that that shit's way over people's heads. But you got to sell the idea of cryptocurrency to people so that they can be like, all right, well, maybe this is what I really need to get into. Because apparently this guy knows a lot and he's excited to talk about it. And I've heard news and uh, uh, Facebook is trying to, you know, the government's trying to. So this whole digital currency thing and da 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 So people know that this is up. But when you come and spit that game, then they want to come back to you. Yo, you seem to know a lot about it. And that's where you want to capitalize on. Nothing's about scamming. You always want to explain why are you doing what you're doing. Why are you selling what you're selling? That's it. To all my mentees, to anyone buying anything off me, I explain them why I'm selling it, how much I'm getting off them, and why I'm getting it off them. Most people don't have a problem you making money off them if they know why and how you're making money off them. Most people don't have a problem, you know? So, and once you become a trader, because we're all traders, everybody, we always give something in exchange for something else. It doesn't matter. So once you, that's a deeper metaphysics shit. But when it comes to money and trading value, and you actually understand the mindset of a trader, you become a lot less emotional about shit. A lot less emotional about shit. 
Now, I know we can't go all the restaurants right now, but when we go back to restaurants and certain things, and you you pay, you know what I'm saying, $120 for a meal for you and your, your, your partner, but the service was horrible. The food wasn't that good. It was kind of loud. It was kind of annoying. Instead of getting emotional and getting upset, you were like, you know what? That wasn't a good trade. That wasn't a good trade. Next time, let me make a better trade. Let me go to a restaurant with better service, better quality food, maybe a more quiet atmosphere. And maybe see if that trade from my value that I paid for that meal was equal or if not better. I got a, I got a really good deal on this meal because I felt like I got more in return. So you become less, and less emotional when you actually stay in the mindset of a trader and you realize everything that you do, anything that you pay for should in some ways be an investment. Why am I buying this orange juice right now at nine o'clock in the morning? Because it's an investment on my health. You know what I'm saying? Why am I buying a new laptop? Because it's an investment in my business as, an entre as a cryptopreneur. Not only can I use this laptop to, uh, to gain passive income more than four or five different ways, I can use it to communicate and da-da-da-da-da and level up my skill. You know what I'm saying? Everything you, you, you spend money on, crypto or whatever, should be some form of investment in return. You should be getting something in return, if not more in return than what you're putting in. And then you become less emotional about shit. You really do. You become a lot less upset because now you understand you're looking for a fair trade. You're looking for a fair trade of quality no matter what it is you, you spend money on. And sometimes you may not get that fair trade, but what you do in return, you can actually get a better, bigger trade. So me getting scammed by Polite for 100 k whoa, okay, this dude's got... He's a he's a world famous dude. So I should have said, yo, you fucked me over. I take away your reputation and possibly you and your wife's freedom. I wouldn't have fucked with someone if I didn't feel like I can get something in return if in case they did me wrong. But just so happens this guy did me wrong. Okay, you know what? I take an ox at your reputation and I'm going after you and your wife's freedom. You know, and then I'm going to build a business out of that. So there's things that happen with your investments that you can actually, it may not turn out right away, but there's things and actions you can do to maximize your profits in the end. You know, that's what I'm saying. So in the end, you want to make positive investments. You want to see yourself as a trader, no matter what it is you spend money on. And another way I sell cryptocurrency to people is I have, I would have a crypto tip jar on your Jack's Liberty wallet or whatever. You know, you have 25, 20, 25, 20 bucks because I'm a crypto educator. So I understand that it takes people really seeing this work actually for them to be convinced like, yo, this is the real deal. So I have a lot of five, I, I give away five dollars of cryptocurrency to anyone that's open to it. I'll go up to a restaurant owner. Hey, you know what? You heard of Bitcoin. Can I pay for this million Bitcoin? Uh, yeah, cool. I mean, I don't know about it, but sure. Like, uh, yo, you just got to download a Bitcoin wallet. It's free and I'll pay you right now. I just paid for the million Bitcoin or whatever. You know what I'm saying? And we, yo, my weed dealer. Yo, you accept Bitcoin. You accept Litecoin. You accept Monero. Yeah, that's kind of cool. It'll be nice to have. Well, I'm going to show you how to set it up for anyone that doesn't, you know, like, yo, you heard of this? All right. Download the wallet. Write down your private keys. Don't show me your private keys. And then here, you know what? I'm going to send, send me your public address. Let me scan your phone. And I'm going to send you your first $5 the first of Bitcoin. You should see the look on people's faces when they received a new form of value that they've never received before. You should see, like, this, this is kind of a once in a life. Yo, I got a new form of money. I don't know what it is, but apparently I got $5 worth of it. And I can see the value kind of go up and go down on a day. Man, you, should, you people are hooked. People are motherfucking hooked. And you're that dude or woman that they can go back to and be like, yo, where can I get some more? And that's when you cash in. That's when you start charging. You know what I'm saying? I, depending on what they ask, you know what I'm saying? Like, I give a fee. I give a convenience fee. And I explain this to people. You know? If you say, hey, I want to I wanna pay you $100 for some Bitcoin. Okay, I always got $100 Bitcoin on debt. Not that I'm necessarily looking to sell it, but this is how I would sell it. If I, You know what I'm saying? I'm just giving you the game and how I did sell it. So I say, hey, I want $100 uh, worth of Bitcoin. You give them two options. This is up to you as a seller. And this goes generally with anything if you ever sold on the streets or whatever. You can pay me $100 in Bitcoin and you get $75 back. So essentially, I'm keeping $15 worth of Bitcoin. That's my fee is $15. I explained. This is convenience fee. 
I got to get a bank account. I got to get a have an address. I got to register for this account. You know what I'm saying? I got to sign up and possibly tax. And it's going to take me maybe three or four or five. It, it depends on the exchange. That's what it's costing you. So there's a convenience fee. If you want to buy Bitcoin off me right now, you'll get it right now. I'm charging you a fee. So if it's $100, I'm charging you a $15 fee. You know what I'm saying? So either they buy Bitcoin for you, which is they, they give you $100, you give them $75 back, you keep $15 worth of Bitcoin to yourself, or they say, no, 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 I want $100 worth of Bitcoin. Well, then it's going to charge you $115. That's why I'm getting a $15 worth of USD. I'll give you $100 worth of Bitcoin, but it's going to cost you $115 USD. So either way, you're, getting, you're coming up $15, whether that's Bitcoin or USD, but you explain your price tag, that's a convenience fee. And not only that, I'm a trader. The only reason I'm selling this to you is to make a profit. You know, you explain this to people and they're like, oh, I get it, okay, I understand. Like, I understand the value of what you're doing for me and it's worth that 15 extra dollars because I can get it right now. It's a rare, valuable digital asset. You know what I'm saying? So, and if they want $20, hey, $5 fee. It's either going to cost you $5 in Bitcoin or $5 in USD. You see how where I'm getting? You decide. You let them decide. But you become that Bitcoin dude in person to the people that trust you in person. And then you can go to localbitcoins.com or whatever and start hustling online. I'm giving, I'm giving the game away, man. I'm looking out for you. This is the type of shit I keep from my mentees. But, you know, people going through a hard time. So I do what I can to share a little value on how to really hustle and sell the idea. Not only you're selling the idea of cryptocurrency to sell cryptocurrency it's called hustling bro you got to open up your mouth and you got to spit some game people don't realize yo like and people in venezuela and zimbabwe and argentina and da, 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 brazil this is the only way people can feed their families at this point so don't think this is a joke and back soon to america this is only soon to be america this is the only way people can feed their families is with cryptocurrency watch how crazy this shit gets but only about 2% of the world population knows about crypto and less than that is investing in it. So there's plenty of opportunity to become a crypto consultant and start spitting game and then, you know, sharing education. So with the Crypto Roots Mentorship, I say about three months. Minimum. Three months minimum. Me, you, grinding, hitting those, uh, hitting those sessions every other day. You're going to get enough game after three months where you can start... So listen in it. Yo, 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 you can start spitting that game. Obviously, I'm going to give you tools, techniques, and strategies. And you actually have to apply the information so that people know, you know what I'm saying? When people are going to come at you with all type of questions. What is the blockchain? What is the hash? How do I know? What is it backed by? Da, da, da. You want to have all the answers. You don't want to be stuck out there like, I, I actually don't really know. You want to know this technology inside and out. And I'm here to help you because I do. And it took me about three years and it's I still got a long way to go, you know, but this I live this shit. I live it, you know, but and I realized at the end of the day, it's not as hard as we make it out to be. It's just new concepts, new ideas uh, and they're actually not new concepts. These are what a blockchain is, is a bunch of old concepts, just a new recipe. You know what I'm saying? That's what Satoshi did. He took linked list uh, hashing. Uh, a proof of work like he took all these random concepts and c combined them in a new recipe and that's what we got the blockchain for you know that's what that's what we have so it's it's a bunch of old ideas created and mixed together in a new idea so that's a little bit of the game i'm gonna spit about selling the idea of cryptocurrency but start with people around you. Start with your, your family, your members. But you got to be able to answer people's questions for them to feel confident enough to actually give you money. You know what I'm saying? In exchange for something. Don't think people are just going to give you money. Don't be scamming people. But what I'm saying is, is that people are willing to, tr if people trust you, they're willing to share and value with you. And you, As long as you share value with them. And you, as long as you explain how you're profiting, why you're profiting, then they can do the same thing. Just be like, yo, you can do the same thing. There's a lot, each one teach one. And there's a, there's a lot of people that needs to learn about this technology. All right, so if you need a crypto miner set up, hit me up. Um, check out my courses, links in the description. Uh, hit me up for the crypto mentorship if you don't if you don't even trust me but you're still curious or whatever. Do a one hour consultation, it's $25. You know what I'm saying? I got 30 over, 30 plus people I mentor. This is my life. I do this and my business is growing during an economic collapse and I'm staying motivated. I'm staying positive and I do the best I can to share value. All right. Much love. Aloha. Peace.